the Lakeview Rotary Club has uh, uh, sponsored this as, long as, as well as many other corporate sponsors. Uh, we have Baxter Black here uh, to raise a substantial amount of funds to start construction this year at the soccer field. Uh, we've also committed some of our other fundraising projects to this project. Uh, we've got help tonight from the new soccer club. Uh, they'll be waiting to take it. Um, we have a lot of donated items for uh, the auction, mm -hmm. as well as the silent auction. So, uh, everybody has a good time. Promoting the uh, that new soccer field for the kids. But, um, I, like I mentioned earlier, I really like that because it gives the kids an international flavor, a spurt, that when they're watching uh, soccer international, they can have a greater appreciation for the geography of the world. So I think that's a big, big plus for our kids. Tonight we are raising funds for the uh, soccer program here in Lake County and to put in a soccer field. And it's going to cost about $50,000. We've never done two big fundraisers in one year. And so this is really um, a stretch, but it's worked out so well. So we're going to make a dent in that cost. And it's just for the kids. And, you know, Rotary does a lot for the kids. There are more kids that play soccer in the U.S. than play baseball these days. That, that's how big it's grown. I make a living doing agricultural banquets. And I do the horse growers and the cattle feeders and the farm bureaus and the pork producers and the veterinarians and the rodeo hands. And this is a community that is, uh, um, the economy is part agricultural. You know, we've got other sources, but this community that has far more agricultural people than a lot of cities. And uh, they're who, they're the same people who read my column or watch me on my RFD TV show or listen to my radio program out of Klamath Falls. It's the same people, <laughs> except they live in Iowa or they live in Florida or they live in Calgary. Or they... But it's that same group of people whose stories I tell. In fact, they tell me the stories. And I go home and turn it into a column, and a radio program, a TV show, put it in a book, and then I come out and tell it back to them on stage and charge them for it. <laughs> and I would especially like to thank our sponsors for the event. We would also like to recognize those who have generously donated items for our auction and the silent auction. Will you help me raise some money real quick for the soccer field? Can we do that? Daisy's easy. Very nice. Let's sell some artwork. How about it? I'm going to bid 500 on a boat. Who bid five? 500 on a boat. 500 on a boat. Who give a five? Who give a hundred bucks? But I'm back to three. Now four. Bid 300 on a boat. Four. Three in the wall. 400. I'm going to bid 400 on a boat. Four. Um, we are delighted to have Baxter Black with us in Lakeview tonight. Please give him a warm Lakeview welcome. Back to back. Thank you, Bob. Just took it in stride. You know, it's like polio. <laughs> it is a treat to be back. There are strange tales told in the days of old, and cowboys tested their luck. But the queerest portrayal of life on the trail was when Dunny ran off with a duck. <laughs> Poultry poetry. <laughs> Not much call for it, really. The header usually has his hair styled <laughs> rather than cut. <laughs> The healer, we're number one. <laughs> the healer, the healer cuts his own hair. I have to be sitting in the kitchen when she walked in, and I don't think I'd ever seen a single human being with that much cow manure on their person, and they were still ambulatory. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, all you Rotarians and all you guys coming out. Come on up here. Here, Bob. Please, let's show our appreciation for Baxter Black. He can do better than that. Come on.